So, I have two is problems it? with today. What? One, we're recording very late. Two, I, mean, I haven't quite. had enough alcohol. I mean, <laughs> that's very true. But And you guys don't have that many mixers upstairs. We don't promote drinking alcohol in this family friendly ch- <laughs> Oh, we promote drinking alcohol. <laughs> You're yes. the two raging alcoholics on the desk here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show of Tiny Donuts. I'm your host, Echo, and I'm joined with Adam, the alcoholic, and Rowan, the presso. Today, with our first ever episode, we're gonna do a bit called Not the Onion. And if for people that don't know what Not the Onion is, it's empty. No, I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> for people that don't know what Not the Onion is, is a Reddit where it shows oniony type articles, as in it came from the onion, but they're actually real. We're gonna be a news anchor, and we're gonna bring you the latest news that you may or may not have missed out because these things are f-ing hilarious. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no guarantee. Here's your receipt. It's a bit of a spoiler, and it's just sad that you've said that all of these are real. No filter. Anything comes, anything goes. Okay. You okay? All right. Once so <laughs> again. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta synchronize all of our voices with the device. Hold on, three, I two, do. one. Jesus Christ, Adam! <laughs> he's he's had my, maybe a bit too much to drink. Are you using he's, he's, he's like, he's like he's like <laughs> Yes. Dude, what else would I be using? It comes installed on the PC. <laughs> Breaking news. Fans paid to attend World Cup by Qatar have daily allowance cancelled. This is really surprising to me. The World Cup of football? Yes. Yeah, soccer. The, the, the football. What are you f- No, South African. We still oh, say you, soccer. You say oh, soccer. You say, oh, okay, you say soccer over there as well. Oh, yes. God. But we all I our, mean, we, the thing is, we, we, we play soccer, but all the clubs are football clubs. What? <laughs> so you just use both terms, like, yeah, like no one really. Do you still cares. call rugby rugby? Yes. Like, f-ing God for that. <laughs> no, I mean, we beat you in it, so. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yikes! I'll take your word for it. Well, we're currently the world champions. It's not wrong. I'm not surprised. You'd be not intimidated when you have like someone who's probably like six foot staring you down. Oh yeah, no, the majority of our team is massive. I like how. <laughs> I still like how you're wearing like shades and sides. Still. It's bright in here, man. Bright. <laughs> you got a problem with that? <laughs> but yeah, back to the whole guitar thing. Yeah. Like. Yeah. What about? In the all honesty, yeah. did anyone expect Qatar to hold up any part of what they said they would do? What the, like the daily allowance? Yeah. I mean. Like this is the same. How much are we talking about? No, that's the, the real question. You must probably. Let me look this up. To be honest. As someone who has no f***ing clue what's going on in Qatar, please enlighten me. The fans who have travelled to Qatar as part of a controversial paid-for supporters program have been told by Qatari authorities that their cash has been cut. He has recruited supporters from around the globe offering travel and accommodation and a place at the World Cup opening ceremony in return for enthusiasm and positive social media content. Members of the fan leader network from two European countries said their payments had been cancelled three days ago and that authorities had blamed the decision on the bad press which followed the revelation that fans were being paid. Firstly, what did they think the media was going to report when they were paying people to come and be fans for football teams? I don't know, I don't think there's really much to say about this. Like, it's yeah, they got their daily allowance cancelled. Like, wah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like everyone acts surprised that Qatar cancelled something. They've cancelled basically everything they promised at this point. True. Even Budweiser's been paid to be their sponsor, the sponsor for the World Cup. They can't even sell their beer anymore. Seriously? Yeah, they you cannot sell beer at or around the stadium in Qatar anymore. They stopped it two days before it was supposed to start. How? Honestly, if I was there, I'd just turn around and go home. What's the point of supporting my team if I can't get drunk while I do it? In other news, Gianni Infantino feels gay and like a migrant worker, as he recalls being bullied for red hair and freckles. Sorry. 
Who the f is this? Who, who is Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the president of Federation Internationale de Football Association. Oh, he's the president of FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that mother! Yeah, he. I remember I was talking about this. Like he said, he's like he's Arab, he's gay, he's. Today I feel uh, gay. And he's a Swiss. And he doesn't want people to insult him. He's a Swiss Italian football administrator, and he says he feels gay and like a migrant worker. I'm such a poor migrant worker. I'm only getting paid millions to give Qatar the World Cup. Being bullied for red hair and freckles. This is a bald man. <laughs> a white bald man. Well, f I've got more red hair on my face than he's got on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got a picture of this man? Uh, we do, which I will... As the man we're talking about. Yeah. Red hair with freckles, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news! Custom sees so much cocaine in Belgium that incinerators can no longer keep up. I can help with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I know a few guys. <laughs> I feel I know like a guy. this isn't a problem. A this has so many solutions to it. Your nose. Well, that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> How much cocaine are we talking about right now? Last year, 90 tons of cocaine were seized at oh, the Jesus. port of Antwerp alone. I probably butchered that name, sorry, Belgians. Um, this year, it is likely that more than 100 tons of the drug will have been seized before the end of the year. That's a f ton of cocaine. <laughs> Okay. Can we get American measurements on the screen here of how much is a hundred tons? What the fuck? What American like? No, it's like how they measure length in football fields or refrigerators. Or furlongs. Sorry, or no, giraffes, giraffes, but I think furlongs. Might be, yeah. Anything besides a normal Chains. measurement. <laughs> Five alligators. Twenty One elephants. Typical American mother. How much cocaine do you think you'd have to give an elephant for it to OD? I'm, lo I'm gonna look this up. This is a very important question. That That's just something that we, have, we have some human test subjects. I can't Good. believe I'm gonna have on my search history. How much cocaine does it take to OD an elephant? <laughs> Please tell me someone's got an answer to this. Someone actually asked this on Reddit! Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, if we assume that the average human weighs around 150 pounds and the average elephant weighs around 13,000 pounds, then it would take roughly 86 times as much cocaine to kill an elephant as it takes to kill a human. How much does kill a human? I think the FBI is gonna put me on their, uh, <laughs> on their watch list. <laughs> they might be thinking you're trying to off yourself or something. The police might follow me on my way home tonight. When applied to humans, that translates to about, about 6.5 grams. For a 150 pound person. So 86 times 6.5. It would take 559 grams to kill an elephant. So that's actually not much. It's like it's half a kilo. It's half a kilo. Do you understand how many elephant? You could wipe out the entire elephant population with the amount of cocaine that is going to be a in. Guys, we're doing <laughs> we're doing science in this show. This is a science show where we determine how much cocaine do we need to kill elephants. Hold up. <laughs> so they're they're going to have a hundred tons of cocaine. Let me guess. You want to figure out how many elephants we can kill with a hundred tons of cocaine? No, no, no. no. Well, we we okay, could. How, how many? <laughs> Stop. Editor Echo here. What Adam is about to ask is the dumbest question that could have ever been said in this episode. However, he's not the dumb one here. We're all equally dumb because we took way too long to figure out the answer for this stupid question. So grab some food, grab some popcorn while you still can. Because what's about to come up next is painful to say the least. Enjoy. How many kilograms? In a thousand. Hey. So, thousand? In, is in, it? it is a thousand. I've been, I've been drinking. <laughs> Jeez, we are yeah, so good. Yeah, nice. We are. So guys, we need the Patreon for a maths budget so that we can go back to school. Speaking of which, <laughs> guys, if you visit my Patreon on the link below, you can donate a small amount, like a cup of coffee every month, so we can improve our equipment and maybe actually go to school to learn a bit more math, because we can't determine 
how much is a f***ing ton in kilos? When so your if... brain, when your brain is degraded and you think, damn, how the f*** did I ever get that A star? <laughs> <laughs> we look back in our math history and we are impressed with our younger selves. With a cup of coffee a month, you can help us change that and there actually be smart. There where we could do differential equations. Now I look at it and it's just numbers and f***ing letters. Yes. The statistics used to be my thing. <laughs> Perfect. 6.5 grams. How many times does that go into 100,000 kilograms? People okay. Just, just How many grams in a kilo? Hundred million grams. That is right. In a hundred tons. So if we pick up. Hundred million divided by 6.5. A hundred million divided by yeah 6.5 would give us. We can kill. <laughs> There's quite a few. Uh, it's gonna be like we can 16. wipe out the entire. <laughs> is about 16, right? No. We can 15. wipe out Portugal. <laughs> it's like, it's like. We can wipe out 15, million. 15 million people. Yeah. With you know. that much cocaine. <laughs> this sounds like a solution for small Spain. Did you just call Portugal small Spain? <laughs> yes. Oh no, no, sorry. That's the number of people. Sorry. No, no, how many elephants can we wipe out with that? So the binding button there by 86 gives us we can It's still like a uh, Let me look up how many like elephants in the world elephants, right? The FBI is really the looking at the pattern <laughs> and like the the, the, the plan to kill <laughs> elephants with Some of them. With that much amount of cocaine we could Make elephants extinct three times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm finding so many solutions to Belgium's problems right now. <laughs> well, Ivory's back on the menu, boys. Yeah, think about it. Like, not only are we going to be solving the problem that Belgium's having with their cocaine, there'll be no more poaching of elephants. Because there won't be any to poach. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really fix the problem, though, does it? China won't be asking for ivory anymore, because they'll have all the ivory they can get. We are solving the world's problems here. <laughs> did you did you think through this entire plan like that's what like forty pounds for like a gram? And well I mean that, that's if you're buying it off the street. That's Oh my god, we could put Elon Musk to shame with that amount of money. Well, that's not... <laughs> we can leave the Elon Musk topic for <laughs> Hey, Elon. <laughs> Musk emails remaining Twitter staff to find anyone who actually writes software. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, wasn't there that thing where he was, like, uh, he was firing people based on um, the amount of lines of code they wrote? I heard, yes, we, we've heard and about that. I, I was talking about this with, not this Adam, but another Adam. Uh, about, we have copies. About that one. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a clone that we keep in, um, in the basement. Yeah. We want to tell them about Cut that. We were talking about it, and as people who have actually dabbled mm. in a bit of coding and that, it's one of those things where it's like, yes, more code might be indicative of doing more work, but it might not necessarily reflect a more efficient code. It's a bother to say, like. <laughs> I've it's like some coding. It's it's <laughs> like uh, it's like if you walk up to someone and the entire the entire script they've written is if then statements. That's going to be incredibly slow. Like it'll work, probably. <laughs> no, I doubt it. Probably take a computer a darn sight more time to try and work through that than. Well, it's my coding's f***ing awful. But, but, but <laughs> basically, but basically, it's like you know, just because someone's done more lines of code doesn't necessarily mean they're actually doing a better job. They could be like I don't know. They could just be putting comments in for all you wanted to know. Like, <laughs> you just give them oh, a, I really a good want old... My job. I really want my job. Yeah, they, really they, they, job. they write all this extra code, and then when it comes around to it, it's like, yeah, I've wrote all this code here, and then and it's just like, oh, no, I'm just going to comment it out because actually it's useless. Do you guys want me to uh, read out what the email actually was? Yeah. And, and see what you think about this level of anyone who actually writes software, right? So he goes and says... Anyone who actually writes software, please report to the 10th floor at 2 p.m. today. Before doing so, please email a bullet point summary of what your code commands have achieved in the past six months. 
along with up to 10 screenshots of the most salient lines of code. These will be short technical interviews that allow me to better understand the Twitter tech stack. It sounds like a pretty good email, to be fair. Well, wasn't it like the, one of the main problems he found when he first took over Twitter was the fact that there were very few like actual engineers who were doing the coding and everything for Twitter. And there was just a ton of other people doing f all, basically. So it says here that he laid off about half of the 7.5k employees. And he sent an ultimatum to remaining staff uh, saying they must commit to working long hours at high intensity if they want to keep their jobs. Oh no, hard work. Hard what work? Whatever are they going to do? Oh no, I've got to earn my 40,000 to 60,000 pounds a year or whatever the f is. Well, I mean, I suppose for them, I mean, dollars. Yeah. All right. And now for a quick side news that needs no commentary. Man finds 4.8 million check for Haribo and gets candy in return. And now the weather. <laughs> British. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> yep. And before we get to our final bits of news, another quick reminder to check out the Patreon to improve whatever we've got here. Donate a cup of coffee or melting. It really helps out a lot. But if you can't donate, just share it to your friends and family what we're doing here. Just doing this for fun and just to entertain you guys. And also, hit like and subscribe and put the bell on to not miss out on these weekly uploads. And now finally, for our final news, Eli Lilly CEO says insulin tweet flap probably signals to bring down cost. Do you guys know about what happened with Eli Lilly and Co? I have Lilly Lilly Lilly. no idea. Because of the new features at Twitter, where you can buy a check mark, right? Because before, yes. before Elon bought Twitter, you'd get the verified accounts if you were like a, a reliable news source or if you're a company or if you were like an influencer. It, the check mark was there to make sure, yes, this is the official account. But now you can get an official check mark just by paying $8 a month via Twitter Blue, which is the new thing that Elon put down, right? I like it. Now, the problem with this is that people started impersonating the companies and they started like making memes about us. For example, uh, someone impersonated Roblox by creating an account that had at Roblox underscore US, which is not their official tag. But yes. they've put like the, the exact profile picture, Ooh, the exact name, and have the check mark. One. So it looks official, right? Yeah. And what I they tweeted that. was, we're going to add X to Roblox. Yes, I saw this. So, okay. <laughs> so, same example. So I was someone... almost tempted to download Roblox when I saw it. <laughs> So this is the same example. When someone went on Twitter, they impersonated the Eli Lilly and Co. Which, so by my understanding... So this is about the insulin, wasn't it? Yeah. So, oh. so by my understanding, it's a pharmaceutical company in America. That they bought the patent for insulin for one dollar. Yes. And now it's overpriced. So the person that impersonated the Eli Lilly and Co. That only literally added one extra L to Eli. Or to Lilly or to one of... I think it was to Eli. So they added one extra L, so it's very easy to like miss, miss that, right? They tweeted, we're making insulin free. Yes, didn't like their stocks crash or something? It, because, it crashed by like, how much? By all like their seven... investors just started f***ing selling them. <laughs> uh, I think it was a combination of things, but you, 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 you guys want to do your own research on why you actually... Oh yeah, uh, don't trust our opinions. We don't know don't trust our anything. facts. Like, oh, no, no, no. This <laughs> it's is, like uh, this is this is with everything. No this this is with everything. Yeah. Like, don't 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 take our word for it. Literally, Google it yourself. It's good this to do some your We've own got research. about as much knowledge as the drunk homeless guy on the side of the street. That'll be me after this video ends. Yes. There, there. It's so cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I hate this country. <laughs> And the weather is still s***. Mm, so you'll be enjoying that. It's always Because, <laughs> look, no. at least the CEO did say that they probably have to bring the cost down. Who, whoever said Probably. No. It's better. Probably. Listen. Probably. No, look, whoever and set this up, whoever no. made the price go to that amount, is going to burn in hell for the rest of eternity. They don't even deserve hell. They, they deserve the empty void of nothingness. They deserve to be in purgatory the rest of their life, just black, never-ending suffering. Suddenly it's like, well, I don't have enough money for the next installment, guess I'll just die. I'd just go buy heroin and OD. 
Like, uh, let's be, it would be <laughs> he cheap. dies hard. Adam goes and dies hard. It would be cheaper. <laughs> it would actually. It was yeah. probably OD on heroin for under a hundred bucks. Like, that, that can would... you imagine it if what you said just became a challenge on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I mean, can I like, as, as buy heroin earlier, for less than a hundred brand. dollars? So that's gonna be like. <laughs> Success or whatever the f is. I, I am I'm awaiting all the people that probably come in and think, You're racist! Why have you said this? It's like <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm offensive and you're not gonna like me. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, I mean Right. There, there's there's making racial jokes and then there's being racist. It's just like Oh yeah, no, like I don't mean anything I say. Oh I mean no, it's, it's just uh, it's funny. It's just a jest. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. That's, we're just, that's, we're that's, just that's, having that's, a bit of band. Man, um, I love a good bit of black We're having a bit of band. I mean, uh, sorry. Big band. But yeah, why are we going Asian? <laughs> we're not? With a bit of band. <laughs> anyway. <G> yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh no, End the screen. The and everything. <laughs> Emotional damage! <laughs> This is what I'm gonna I'm suffer when I the, 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 the viewers be like, I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>